Hey everybody and welcome back to Dark Knight Chess. Today we're going to do another live game where we play and explain the moves as we go. We're going to do a 10 minute game with no bonus. Alright, looks like we're going to be playing black today. So, if able, I think I'm going to go ahead and play a check perk. Ooh, that's interesting. Somebody's kind of playing a Levitsky attack. But see, now we've got our check perk set up. So, we'll see what we can do with this. I don't think I've ever actually played it against the Levitsky attack, but I'm interested to see how we're going to do. Um, I think we can go ahead and link our knights together. Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and we'll challenge the center. Continue making some strides in the center. Now that we've got this pawn wall set up, I'm going to go ahead and push this up, put some pressure on his bishop here. Okay. Got his bishop to retreat back. Let's see if we can get rid of this bishop as well. Go ahead and get our bishop there. That way we don't have to worry about damaging our pawn structure any. Go ahead and castle. go ahead and trade off this pawn. Okay. I'm gonna move my knight here with the thought of here. Once here, I'll fork both the rooks. Have to do something about this first, but as soon as I move it I have this, so it should be good. If he ends up taking my bishop, we'll just trade off right here. And now still the plan is to, ooh, gosh, mouse doesn't want to work right. Plan is to come up here and fork the rooks. Opponent's taken quite a bit of a little think here. Which I usually take as they're just kind of stuck and they don't know exactly what to do. Okay. Since he did that and he didn't prevent it, we're going to go ahead. Now we're hitting both the rooks and the bishop. 
be interesting to see what kind of counterplay white tries here. So now we've got the option of which one of these we want to take. I typically like to take the one that's further away most of the time because then he's going to have to bring this other rook over and it's not going to be next to his king protecting it like this one is. So that's how we're going to go today. All right, now that we've got that done, um, let's see if we can get some action on this queen side. Go for a pawn break right here. take hmm kind of stuck between wanting to push my pawn more and maybe try to reroute the knight to get it a little more involved um, I think I'm going to go ahead and move the knight get it a little more involved plus it leaves this pawn hanging which if we take this we always can threaten the knight but it is protected by the other knight so mm, all the same I think we'll go ahead and pick up the free piece no real reason not to almost wonder if that was a mouse slip kinda figured he would have put the pawn here but you never know it's hard to say I'm gonna go ahead and put a little pressure on the queen see if we can't get him moving her around and hopefully blunder her away Now if he takes with the knight, then this is hanging once again, and then we pick up a discovered attack on. If he takes here, we can take here, which gives us a connecting here, just like that. Now we're putting pressure on that rook. And then this is hanging as well. And if we take this, then we fork the bishop and the queen. So, no doubt white's in a pretty tough spot right here. Like I said, we're going to go ahead, take here, hmm, you know what, I think we're going to throw a little check to White's King, alright, got him shoved in the corner, put some more pressure on the Queen, get her out of the way if we can get her to where she's not defending this bishop we can pick up the bishop for free Ooh, now I've got to be careful about this so we're gonna to have to take a countermeasure push our pawn up so now we've got this 
and this protecting our pawn, keeping us away from checkmate. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep pushing this little A pawn all the way up there. Not what I would have preferred. Would have been nice to see them take. And then we could have come here and then would have been mate and one. But got to do what we got to do. Uh, let's get the queen up here. We can reroute right here. I don't think there's a whole lot that they can do at this point. Let's take up the free material. Once there, I'm pretty sure white's going to have to block with its queen, just like that. And there's checkmate right there. As always, I hope that you guys had fun watching this video. I hope that you learned something. Um, if you did, or if there's something that you had questions about, please ask me in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer. As always, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the video and play fun and exciting chess. Y'all have a great day.